I think it absurd that we ever actually lost uh, the capacity, which we have, I'm afraid, uh, to teach cooking and cooking skills. It got lost somehow in the whole sort of, if I may use the pun, gobbling up of home economics into food and technology faculties. I started as a food technology teacher, so I actually was not very popular with the home economists. Um, but I always saw the necessity for children to be actually cooking. I'm doing a chicken risotto. I have to be careful about um, not burning the chicken. I've used um, olive oil, so that gives, just gives it um, more of a flavour. I just think the normal onions taste a bit boring, so these have got more flavour. I'm just scared of cutting my fingers, but um, it's better if they're smaller, which I've mucked up a bit. No, no, don't throw it in, Christopher. If you want to, you can. All right. Just dip that in. Okay. So lower it in. That's better. I don't think there's anything wrong in letting the children experiment with flavours. Yes, there's something wrong with letting them experiment with ratios, proportions, things like that. There are certain things that have got to stay. But they need to enjoy what they're doing. They need to enjoy the outcome. And most of all, they need to want to do it again. They should have been on before you started to cook your sauce, OK, so that we're ready together. Yeah, the pressure's really hot because I'm a little bit behind here. So I need to get out of it all at the same time. I mean, I can handle it, I think. All right, boys, look at the time, please. 25 to. We're aiming for 10 o'clock. I've just added the mushrooms to this, and as you can see, the onion's already gone soft. As, and the rice is absorbing the water, so it's going bigger. You keep adding stock a bit at a time, but so that you don't drown it, you've got to wait until it's absorbed most of it. Lots of different dishes, lots of ideas. Um, I particularly like the tempura one, although it's a bit hazardous. Shepherd's pie, got his timing wrong, but we'll get there. You have to be careful that it doesn't spit on your hands if you drop it in too high, because it burns quite a bit, uh, like that and begin to turn them over so the batter gets done on both sides. Are you having trouble? <laughs> a little bit. Take That's the fine. skin off before you put it in the garlic crush. Now squeeze it over yeah. and you should get... Have you got that one? Well, the eggs are around the opposite way. Are they around the opposite way? You put oh, it around yeah. the wrong way. And no wonder it wasn't working. There you go. I think it's very important that students learn to talk to each other. They spend a lot of time in the playground screaming at each other. They don't discuss but they have the opportunity to discuss and learn from what other people think about their food. It's quite, um, I don't know. It tastes a bit like seaweed. <laughs> well, the outside tastes like seaweed. It tastes really creamy and cheesy because I added the parmesan to it at the end. It's got a <laughs> weak aroma. Um, but um, quite a crunchy texture. It's got a herby flavour because of the basil and also the tomato. Um, if I was to develop it, I'd probably add some more um, vegetables like sweet corn and maybe carrots. I'm going to take this home and give it to my family and see what they think of it. Biggest critics. The food. I get the sneaky suspicion here, it's lucky if it gets home, it gets eaten. And to be perfectly honest with Year 9 students, if they're making a meal, then I would encourage them to eat it in school if that's what they wanted to do. Oh, he's eating the lot out of the bowl! <laughs> Salmon. They do all learn in different ways and that's the ethos of the school is that the girls and the boys will succeed in their own way. Lots of instructions, off you go. Mm -hmm. I just like mixing oh, together the yeah. butter and the, the yeast and the flour to like get it all together, all mixed together. It feels like soft. It takes about 10 minutes and then you've got to like add water to it as you're doing it. Yeah. Like, 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 
It's a bit, um, yes it is. Yeah. All those bits. Who's, who's this? Fold, push. Now don't put any more flour on that worktop. Otherwise it'll yeah. go all dry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then give it a bit vigorous. Yeah. And as you're being vigorous, knead it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 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 Ye
I'm just making a goat's cheese crostini on the salad and a chicken breast with um, a mozzarella cheese. And I'm just making some organic production. I'll take the middle bit. That is sublime. Perfect. Well done. We have probed it, have we? I haven't probed it yet, but it has been in there for quite a long time, so it shouldn't be done. Good. Not pink. The bacon. They all go together nicely. Potatoes are well cooked. And so are the vegetables. Good nutritive balance, good colour. You've done very well. We're trying to get the community as a whole involved, not just the students. And this is part of your healthy schools criteria. Matthew's going to do the spaghetti well nice, James is going to do the salad. So we'll have a ready made tea, hopefully. <laughs> Well, this is going to be the base of a lemon cheesecake. I started off with hobnobs and melted butter. And then I'm going to make the topping and then put them all in. And then when I take them out, it should be in the shape of a heart. Hold it. Saw it from the top. Saw it. Back and forth. Right, we just make sure it's just bubbling. Here we go. Just want some bubbles around the outside. Okay? Well done. And then I think you can just leave it and keep coming back and checking it. There are some students who are genuinely interested in cooking skills. So they're the ones that come along. Well, I'm cooking it for my mum and dad because they're ill and it might cheer them up. Cooking used to be, as far as technology was concerned, a bit of a, a nasty word. It's not now. It is coming back, and for very good reasons. I just can't keep my eyes on this salad. <laughs> There's been an element of good fortune in that finding the right people at the right time willing to invest so heavily in taking it forward. And then in Chris Willingale, somebody who's prepared more than that, but to literally go the extra mile and spread good practice to other schools. Come on, thoroughly cleared up, everything away, neat and tidy, ready for tomorrow. Thank you very much. What keeps me going, basically, is seeing little Johnny go out of that room with a big smile, with flour on his trousers, having enjoyed a lesson, having learnt how to cook something, albeit basic, and having said to me, thanks miss, that was great. That's what keeps me going, and I think it'll keep me going for a few years longer. <laughs> <laughs>